can you believe it? Look at how gorgeous this day is. Everyone here loves you so much. Especially that man right in front of you. Jacob, it's been such a joy to grow up with you. We've come a long way from polo shirts and bowl haircuts. <laughs> I would never let my brother settle. I'd only let him marry the woman of his dreams. Jasmine, you are far, far better. Today, you are beauty personified and you make my brother so, so happy. Just take some time, but little by little, yeah, we'll get it right. Your new relationship together is to be based on something that is greater than yourselves. Just as Christ seals the bonds that make you husband and wife, He's also able to preserve and keep your marriage as a blessing, just as He's able to keep us until the day when we, the church, are all together with Him. Jacob and Jasmine, you have honored God in your relationship, and although you've had a, a nearly impossible schedule, you carved out time for seeking God's will for this relationship, and I'm so blessed by that. I, Jacob, take you, Jasmine, to be my lawfully wedded wife, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward. I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, and joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to laugh with you and cry with you, and to cherish you as long as we both shall live. In 1 Samuel 2.30, God says, those who honor me, I will honor. And so you're about to embark on a great adventure. And I pray that this marriage will be a wonderful expression of the love that you have for each other, but even more so, the love that you have for the Lord. I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let man not separate. You may now kiss the bride. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob McCall. It was November 11th, 1999, and I'll never forget that moment. You turned to me and you said, when I grow up, I want to marry you, Daddy. And I told you at that time, that's not how it works. But actually, I am marrying you to the man of your dreams. <laughs> 